Here is the old Super 88. Uh, the rubbers around the uh, hydraulic levers got rotten, so moisture got into the uh, got into the uh, hydraulic pump and probably cracked the housing, most likely the center plate. So we're going to tear it apart. I've done one of these before years ago on a 770. It's not real bad. Uh, it's kind of interesting and fun. I got some good help coming in a couple days, but I thought I'd get some things. I'm going to take the seat off. I don't think I did that the last time, but maybe I did. People tell me taking the seat off makes it a whole lot easier. And I'm trying to remove the PTO cover right now. I kind of forgot how to do that. I guess you got to pop the lever forward, or in other words, engage the PTO. And then you kind of wiggle the cover off. I thought maybe this hydraulic uh, hose bracket was a problem with the lever, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to wrestle with that. If I give it off, get it off, I'll take another picture. See you later. So that cover came off real, real easy, just with a little information. There's four bolts from underneath. There's two of them, two on the other side. That holds uh, that big round cover on. Take those four bolts out or put it in gear. Take those bolts out and wiggle it out and it'll walk right off of there. Of course there's four bolts that holds the shield on. Uh, that's pretty basic simple. You can find them. And then there's three bolts in here behind the clutch housing that actually holds the shaft. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. Uh, I might take the seat off yet tonight. And there's four big bolts here. I think there may be seven eighths of one inch. Get the seat off and wait for my good help. I was going to show you my parts that I just got today from Corvies Oliver. Uh, got the plate. Uh, he suggested a new hydraulic filter. This is the PTO gasket and the gear shift gasket and uh, seals and o-rings for the pump. I had these knobs and I forgot to get the hydraulic lever knobs because you probably I don't know you might get them off but you might break them. The most interesting thing in this whole thing was this little plate. You have to make this. I think it's five inches by four inches and two and an eighth inch come in each side and then two and seven sixteenths. That plate, if you can picture, you know, the, the gear shift, that plate slides, slides underneath the gear shifter bracket and it gets underneath the springs, the detent springs that hold your shifter. You got to watch that. You got to, you know, and then lift everything up carefully. Uh, you don't want to lose your springs down in the belly because uh, then that could be big deals. So it's just kind of a fun little thing. Uh, I had one of these plates once before and I threw it away because I thought I was done. So I just made this one today. So, okay, we'll get some more going and maybe have some more pictures later. So I got the seat off. Uh, if you had a couple strong guys, you could probably do it by hand. I used my engine picker, cherry picker, since I'm by myself. Uh, I'm just about done. Well, I am done for tonight. I'll probably take off some of all this plumbing stuff. And uh, I just might, might wait for my helper to do... Uh, the next move. I don't think the brake pedal is in the way. This thing kind of comes up and tips back. Of course the shifter will be out. And there again, uh, 
there's the bolts, one of the bolts that holds that shifter bracket that you have to slide that cute little shim under. Uh, this was set up for a single lift on the one side, that's why it's got the saddle tank. It had a loader on it with just single stage lift cylinders. So I guess I'm done for now. Uh, I don't think I made too many mistakes. Those bolts are 15, 16, not 7, 8 or inch. Uh, not so bad so far. We'll keep you posted.